All right, so now we are going to color correct both of the PTZ Optics 20X SDI cameras installed here at the Olivet United Methodist Church. So the first thing to do when you're trying to color match two cameras is to make sure that they are set to the exact same exposure. So the first camera I'm gonna pull up is camera one. And what we wanna do here is we want to make sure that camera one and camera two have the exact same exposure. So you can see I'm controlling camera one here. Here's a little trick. If you are having using the serial joystick, if you call preset 95 and hit enter, it will pull up the on-screen display menu, which allows you to remotely change the exposure. And we can use the iris button to come in here. Now I've set the iris to be as open as possible, which is 1.8 f-stop, and the shutter speed is at 1 60th of a second. That's generally a really natural frame rate to use when you're recording and streaming in 30 frames per second. It's called the 180 degrees shutter speed rule. So we're following the 180 degrees shutter speed rule, and what we're gonna do is just make sure the camera one and camera two have the exact same exposure settings. All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna go into vMix and we're gonna use the color correction tools inside of here to really color match because depending on the angles of the cameras and the lighting in the church, it can vary a little bit, but we can apply a color correction layer on top of both cameras to really get them to match properly. Let's show you how we do that. So one of the first things we did here, so here, here we are in the color correction area. You can see we have the ability to color correct lift, gamma, and gain. And I'm just going to show you really quickly, that's with no color correction, and that is with color correction on. And in vMix, we actually have the ability to save this color profile and apply it to other cameras so that we can apply all of these settings to have exactly the same settings on another camera. So you can see we've adjusted the gamma a little bit and the lift and the gain, done a little bit of saturation, and see how easy it is to just raise or lower the uh, gain, gamma, and lift. And just to show you here, there's another way of looking at it with color bars. So you can just do each color up and down, maybe sometimes a little bit more intuitive than the traditional color wheels. Now in the color adjust section, we almost always do a little bit of black stretch, and I'll explain why. And I'm gonna show the vMix waveform monitor with preview here. This is a waveform monitor, and it allows you to kind of see where each one of the colors is. So you can see if down here, we just had too much kind of uh, color in the center. What we wanna do is kind of bring the whole range down till it looks a little bit better. Now you can see barely here that you can just change the red. See those red bars changing and going up and down? So you have the ability to change each color, red, green, and blue. But since we're doing this in the color correction area, this is kind of gives you an idea of the changes that we've made. Now, what you would do to get started, obviously, is you do the exposure first, then you have the ability to kind of apply these color corrections. So now let's look at left and right. Now you can see the left camera and the right camera, or camera one and camera two, are very close in color. And so you can see we can zoom in here. Uh, there's actually some presets as well. And so what we can do is kind of zoom in and double check to make sure everything looks similar in color perspective when we zoom into like two places that are of similar color and setup. So let's take a look at that one versus this one. You can see these are now starting to color match really nicely. Okay guys, well that's it. That's a brief look at how to color match multiple cameras inside a church. You can download our guide on how to get the best camera exposure below. It's really helpful. It shows you how to use a color checker, a gray card, and these waveform monitors that we briefly looked at. So if you want to learn more, download our guide below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with somebody on your church technology team who might be interested in this. Take care. Bye.